before the windstorm tonight and rain, I'm going to um, give the yo's, yo lambs, some fresh straw bedding. Come on, girls. The easiest way is to call them and get them to all go out. Last person out is Miss Ebony. Go on, Ebony. Inca, leave it. Come on, pups. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. They don't like the rain. Now they're so used to being in the shed, they don't want to be in the rain. <laughs> but it's only slightly mizzling. So I'm going to rebed their straw. It's pretty okay, but I'm going to give them some more bedding before the rain comes, before tonight's weather. They've got plenty of hay. So that's my straw bale right there. There. Can you move, good girl?
So while I've been bedding the shed, this lot have been being cozy up here. <laughs> so now they're waiting at the gate, literally waiting at the gate. Come on, pups. Come on. Come on, bear. Bear. Come on. Good dogs. Out. Hey, girls. Come on, girls. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Do you not want to go in? Go on. Brindle, Brindle, back. What a silly sheep. <laughs> this is how sheep lock alpaca out. Hey, 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 hey. Easy does it. Up. Up. Okay. Well, the sheep are at least in. The alpaca have decided otherwise because the silly sheep <laughs> closed the gate on them. Let's see. If I can get the alpaca back in without the sheep coming out. I left the gate open. Uh. I want to get them in so they don't get too wet. Because it's not good to put wet animals in the shed. Oi, oi, oi. On, guys come on come on come on uh, you're you can't go that way come on whoops come on come on brindle leave it brindle so the sheep are quite happy to stay inside oi 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 hey leave it Good girl. Some of my compost pile. Hey, hey, get back here. You guys have to go back in the shed. Come on. Come on. Leave it, Brindle, leave it. Come on. Come on. Go on. Now you're seeing all my mucky piles of stuff. Weed suppressor that has been pulled up. Oi! Easy does it. There. They all go back in. Now, one of the reasons why... In cap! Hey, Brindle, leave it. Brindle! Brindle! Get back here. Leave it. One of the reasons why the alpaca have to go in. In cap! Leave it. Come back here. Come here. Don't do any more. One of the reasons why the alpaca have to come in this winter is because they were shorn so late in the season. And it's the other reason why I have the yo lambs in. They were shorn so late in the season that they haven't built up enough fleece for hardiness. The yos are hardy as it is, so that's fine but the thin fleece on the lambs and the very short fleece on the alpaca mean that I don't want them to get too wet, particularly alpaca. Alpaca do not have lanolin in their fleece, so they can't keep the wet out. And when they have a thin fleece or a short fleece, they don't have enough that lays down on them to keep them warm for aerated insulation. Come on, Ink. Leave it. Good dog. So they're all nicely bedded now. Job done. Now we can go and have some coffee. And then attack the vine house. Isn't that right? So, oh yeah, and we had a big yard clear up uh, yesterday as well. 
because I was leaving it mucky because when it was frosty and cold, so animals wouldn't slip on it. But now I'm, I can clean it up every day. So it's not as bad as it was at all. Okay, so that job is now done. The vine house is next.